Welcome back, 8th grade. Uh, we are on lesson 1.2, which I feel like you're going to think is a breath of fresh air compared to 1.1, which had so much information thrown our way. This one is kind of a, a just a labeling thing um, about the different numbers. So this really focuses on what real numbers include. Uh, and we're only talking about real numbers. You won't get into imaginary numbers until later. So this is just helping you understand that under the... the um, umbrella of real numbers are all of these labels. So I'm gonna work you through these labels and then the exercise is really just saying, okay, this number, what types of labels can you give it? So it's super easy if you understand it very well. So um, let's talk about the different real numbers. So under the umbrella, pretend that's an umbrella, that was my attempt to draw an umbrella. Under the umbrella of real numbers are whole numbers. These are numbers you've been dealing with since like the first grade zero, one, two, nothing in between like half or 0.5 or whatever, just the zero, one, two, three, four, the whole numbers. Um, so anytime you see a positive number that doesn't have a decimal or fraction attached to it, you can give it a title of whole number. Also a real number because it's under that umbrella, but it's a whole number. Next under that umbrella is integers, which you learned about in sixth grade. Um, these are all the whole numbers still, but also they include um, now the negatives, which whole numbers didn't include. So they are again, no in-betweens, no decimals, no fractions, just whole numbers, zero, one, two, three, but also include negative one, negative two, negative three, and on and on. Also under um, the real numbers umbrella is rational numbers and those are um, I call them the in-betweens uh, like the fractions and decimals that would fall in between our integers or in between our whole numbers so negative one still could be considered a rational number uh, zero is a rational number 0 0.5 is now a rational number it's in between here but still it could be made into a fraction one half so it's a rational number one is rational number, also an integer and also a whole number, all of which is a real number, right? So if they ask me, what, would you, what are the labels for, the, for one? I would say, well, it's rational, it's also an integer, it's also a whole number, and it's a real number. So it could get four titles. So in this assignment, that's kind of what they're looking for. If they said, what is um, a um, title for negative one? I could say it's a rational I could say it's an integer, but I can't say it's a whole number. I can't get that label because it doesn't include those, but I could call it a real number. And finally, um, also under the umbrella of real numbers um, are the irrational numbers. Uh, these are the ones, again, that if I calculated them on a, des on a um, calculator, I'd get some funky answer like 1.23657247 until there's no more room on the calculator and it wants to keep going and I can't see any discernible pattern in any way. If there's a pattern, remember from the last lesson we could make it into a fraction. It was kind of tricky and, and how to do it, but we could, right? But this, it doesn't end anywhere, so I don't have a place value to deal with, um, so I can't um, I can't just end it. So these are irrational when you see that happen. They are still included in the real numbers umbrella. So um, if you see things like, um, and, I, and when you're doing this lesson, have a calculator ready. So if you see something like um, the square root of 17, uh, do the square root of 17 on the calculator. And if it comes out looking all funky, um, like this big, any big long decimal, um, that doesn't have a pattern, it's irrational. Um, you also should know, if you don't already, that pi, uh, 3.1415, blah, 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 it goes on for on and on without a pattern. Um, anytime you see pi, just know that's an irrational number. So if you see a number like that, the labels that you can give it in this lesson is um, irrational and real. We can't give it any of these numbers or these labels just irrational and real. Um, so the whole lesson just wants you to identify and recognize the types of numbers that these are. So it'll give you a number 
and then you'll say okay well it could be called irrational it could be called integer it could be called this it could be called that and so you just give it all the possible labels hopefully that's enough to help you understand this lesson but of course we'll go over it in a workshop and um, you have access to me in uh, office hours if you need me to explain it better.